Jack Ma is back and shares of Alibaba saw a sharp jump soon after its breakup announcement. The restructuring is reportedly aimed at offering more autonomy to its six new units. But the development is essentially seen as the government's softening of stance towards the Chinese tech major. Industry insiders believe this brings an end to the two-year crackdown on Alibaba, which at its worst eroded 80% of its market value. Decentralization of Alibaba's businesses also addressed one of Beijing's key concerns, the concentration of power. Alibaba was founded in June 1999, which revolutionized the e-commerce landscape in China. It provided a domestic and international platform for Chinese MSMEs to sell their products. In 2003, Alibaba started its subsidiaries, Taobao Marketplace, Alimama.com, Lynx, and Alipay, later rebranded as Ant Financial Services or Ant Group. Within three years of inception, the company turned profitable and drove out its US competitor eBay Inc. from China in 2006. Alibaba's subsidiaries were highly successful and swiftly monopolized the Chinese market. Once a game changer in China's tech space, Alibaba and its co-founder Jack Ma had a great run till Chinese regulatory authorities began a crackdown on big techs. On 10 September 2019, Jack Ma stepped down and Daniel Zhang took over as a chief executive of Alibaba. The same month, the municipal government of Hangzhou announced the deployment of government officials in Alibaba for monitoring. Alibaba and Ant Group came under extreme scrutiny by the Chinese authorities in 2020. Ant Group's IPO, which was considered the biggest in the world, was halted by the government. In December 2020, Chinese regulators began an antitrust probe against Alibaba. Four more authorities, including the People's Bank of China, started investigating the monopolistic practices of Alibaba and Ant Group. These setbacks crashed the market value of the company. So, why is Alibaba splitting itself into six different units now? Here's what Nirmalya Kumar and Sriram Subramanian have to say. What is happening in Alibaba is very interesting because, of course, one can make a very rational explanation to it that it's a company that is in many different businesses, cloud, online retail, as well as uh, entertainment, etc. So, and there's always a conglomerate discount and it's too big. And so by making it smaller and more focused, you're more likely to get the valuation release. Because remember, Alibaba today is trading at the same price that it was in 2014 when it was listed on the New York Stock Exchange. And if you look at Alibaba's PE, it's around 10 compared to its biggest competitor, Tencent, which is about 20. So there's clearly a valuation unlocking game that is to be played. But if you ask me personally, and if I was a betting man, what is the reason behind the impetus to split Alibaba? I don't think this is it. I think the real impetus is that Jack Ma had become the face of Chinese business. He was playing the role of God. And in 2020, this was all fine until 2020. In 2020, when he took on the financial regulators and started criticizing him, that's when the Chinese government decided, A, these companies have become too big. We need to curb corporate power. So if I look at it, uh, the restructuring one will probably uh, happen with uh, different management and different set of shareholders in each of these six companies. Two is they can raise capital uh, independent of each other. Uh, three is regulatory scrutiny for different businesses will be uh, probably coming under different ministries in China and there will be different oversight of regulators uh, from the Chinese authorities. From a perspective of uh, e-commerce may be mu much more open, whereas uh, uh, payment systems may be much more uh, scrutinized, etc. So from that perspective, Alibaba can benefit uh, with less uh, regulatory scrutiny. Does the restructuring announcement and Jack Ma's recent public appearance also mean that the Chinese government is putting an end to its crackdown on big tech companies? The business environment in China for the tech companies over the last three years between the pandemic and the regulatory uh, being out of favor from the, the regulation was a poor one. Now, what China has decided, pandemic is over, we are going to free the economy. And they've realized also that part of freeing the economy, part of getting the growth back is letting these tech businesses also free a bit. So their, their personal objective of keeping the tech entrepreneurs down and letting them know who's the boss has been achieved. Now they're telling them, okay, run your businesses. Because remember, a company like Alibaba or JD, thousands, hundreds of thousands of small Chinese entrepreneurs depend on these two companies to make their sales and their distribution. So actually, 
cra cracking down on JD or cracking down on Alibaba is not cracking down on JD and cracking down on Alibaba alone. It's also cracking down on the hundreds of thousands of Chinese entrepreneurs who use them as a vehicle for sales and distribution. China is opening up its market now after zero COVID reversal. The recent developments indicate that the Chinese government is relaxing its policies to boost investors' confidence. It is important for China to set the big techs free as the majority of small and medium businesses in the country are dependent on them. Restructuring of the Alibaba Group is also likely to insulate it from further regulatory scrutinies. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.